Alright everybody, welcome back to another part of this Fallout 4 walkthrough. So, last time, we got a mission from Nick, well, from Ellie at Nick's uh, Valentine Detective Agency, about a missing girl at the Nakano residence, up towards the top of the map. This is the Far Harbor DLC. So we got to Far Harbor last time and helped uh, defend the town, and today we're going to actually start following Old Longfellow. I guess up to Arcadia through the I, one, mythical fog at this point. Excuse me. You ready to head to Arcadia? <laughs> Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Got it. Be between parts, I also uh, went back to Sanctuary real quick and picked up very close to overweight. But I got my lever action rifle because I bought all that ammo from, uh, what's his name? We're the only Alan or whatever. Town. So. This one was fully upgraded. It just shoots faster and reloads quicker. But since I bought all that ammo... Okay, it's bugging out again. There we go. The island. Acadia is above the Lost fog. my home when the fog Come rolled in. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul as sin. But it'll help. Mirelurk jerky. Oh, he's giving me more food. And I realized I why I'm so incredibly heavy. I was thinking about it. It's the fact that I have so... Like, I've been using stim packs so much. Because I have a lot of them. And it's kind of hard to run out at this point. But I have so much food. That's 12 pounds of grilled radstag. 6 pounds of gulper innards. Well, not a p full pound for those, but a lot of this stuff weighs so much and I have so much of it. One, that's 20 pounds of Myler Queen Steaks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Mora even the Morat Chunks, that's 4 pounds right there. God. I gotta start eating some of this stuff. Just, I've, I have too much. I'm gonna stop eat, uh, using stim packs for the time being. Just start we eating. Need to move through the main Old mountain trail where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> I mean, it'll help. Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Oh, I, I do have experience with combat at least. I might, I might not know about the fog, but I do know about killing people. Look at that. I could take him out right here. What was that? With the There's someone or something else here. Oh, this lever action is sick. Holy crap. Doing See, that like, much good at this point. You run out of, uh, you never run out of Simpax is what I mean to say. Where you at? Oh, you're up there. Take them all. Dude, this is sick. You're not half bad in a scrap. Yeah, no. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> I mean, I like the place so far. It's kind of sick around here. See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now. I hope I get a lot more 4570 ammo. Let's go up here. I need to loot these people. They might have ammo. Harpoon gun. Okay, it's, oh, it's actually not putting me overweight, but I will give this to Nick. Can I? Hey, there. Whatever you need. Harpoon. I don't need it for the time being, but it's something he can use, I guess. Wait, are you still sticking to that stupid pipe rifle? I can give you a hunting rifle. Or even this submachine gun this dude has. Hey. There's something you need? You don't need to use that crappy pipe rifle anymore. Here's what I've got.
You need to use one of these. I'd have you use, uh, that. There we go. I forgot he's using that old crappy gun this whole time. We ain't got gotcha. you. I say it's time for a drink. Oh, it's missed. Mountain trail. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got looking wild. I missed so many shots on long coat. My bad. My bad, man. Oh, we're following the trail now. Oh, it's still a road. Okay. I don't know what blight is, but I'll figure it out. I'm kind of like, don't completely believe y'all have wolves on this island. Oh, so y'all led a Miley on. Okay, that makes sense. So you guys let them on the island so you could have an extra source of meat. That's smart. I mean, it. Crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never know. Holy crap, that was loud. Make a save. I want to fight that thing. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. I wonder if uh, I, old Longfellow probably will be a companion. It makes sense. He's pretty cool. Probably stick with Nick though. There's someone or something else. You're dead. this dude I need to stop that I feel like I'm trying to quick scope this dude this ain't MW3 I do want to loot their uh my lurk meat though I talk about having food all the time but you could run out so let's make some more is he even firing that gun and he went back to the pipe rifle you're joking aren't you fresh water Small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Didn't seem like now it. The big ones. They can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many. Where are those at? I want to fight those. Yeah, you're still alive. I could have told you that. Oh, almost shot old Longfellow. I can't. Oh, this should, this should be good for Nick. Hey. Can you please use something else? That's actually pretty good. Can you please use this? I will give you a little bit of ammo. I have some fusion cells. I'll give you like... What's the plan? Please actually use it. Oh my god. This whole place is sick. I'm really liking this so far. 
by far the best DLC so far. Automatron was alright. Vault Tech was kind of lame, but... Oh, Child of Adam. Yeah, you have cancer. Stringing one more soul to the damn... Well, what have we... Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. And also... How about books? Cancer. Faith shield you against those two? Nope. Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do Dang not right. sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You... I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. All right, I'm listening. Tell you. You stride through his kingdom. A land blank. And you may join our... On second thought, I'm good. So be it. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic... Let's move on. Y'all are worshipping the radiation or no fallout fog. from a nuclear bomb. Now. Holy crap. So they're in an observatory? That's what Acadia is? Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> I mean, I like him a lot. Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something. Uh... Maybe later, Long Tom. All right. You ever want to? Uh huh. Don't know I kind of want to keep Nick so with me. He was with me at the beginning of the mission. Yeah, we're gonna keep Nick with us. Is this a workshop too? This looks like a settlement. That looks like a cabin with a. I hope there's a workshop around here. Oh, yeah, they have bags of cement. Oh, fertilizer. This is definitely a settlement somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere. Acadia. Need the key. Maybe you this know, is the workshop. When I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. 
One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Huh. I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Yeah, just that's just because of us, though. That's the, and then the player character. Up alone. We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I'm not a synth. End of discussion. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? You should know, the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's... over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. 
Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel. And... We're not dangerous. All we... Sure. All right. I'll reserve... Your... Thank you. Now... So, everyone here in Acadia... Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute... Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping through this. Tell I want to go talk to other this people. Place. All I want is to bring as many synths here. Beyond that, we just... Uh -huh. Was there anything else? I should get... Going. Of course. Perhaps Dima. we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. What kind of quest do I got now? Talk to Kasumi Nakano. Let's do uh, Kasumi first. I mean, I could grab your quest. Hey. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in it. I'm afraid your journey... I wanted to see for myself. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in... Uh -huh. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured... My job is to make sure they all... How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics. You have Dima's blessing. Mm-hmm. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right. I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive. Uh -huh. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start. He's the one who meets the new arrivals. Of course, he's not likely to tell you. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that is Desi. Mm -hmm. That's as much help as I can give you. Okay, where's Faraday? Oh, they opened the door. Nice. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I mean, I'm just looting everything y'all got. Say the word if you want me to take a look at that terminal. Nah, Nick, I don't want to loot their stuff just yet. Okay, I'll help you out, So, too. you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting. You're right. It is a good cause. Sin it's so good to hear that. Very. Uh -huh. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time. Sometimes I worry about... Well, and that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condenser. Uh-huh. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help... Him. Well, if you're determined to help, there is... There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was... Mm -hmm. The boat never finished the... My understanding is that... What happened to the boat? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers... The point is that we... Sure thing, Faraday. Help. Thank you. Well, I'll do these quests at some point, but let me let's go talk to Kasumi Nakano first. I can go even further down. Where's she at? Oh, one level down. Okay. Holy crap! I 
I assume you're not planning on staying long. Not another one of these dudes with just an attitude about me being here. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their dog. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. Uh -huh. I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Kasumi, I think... I... I really wish... <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the... Mm -hmm. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret? All right. I'm listening. Okay. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can. I know. I, I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then there's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a... I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima... Uh-huh. Um... Step aside and let the mess. If you're sure. From one case to a new one. I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. I can do all of them. Just a master terminal, it's nothing big. That's it. Okay, so they're about to fight with each other. Oh, that's what. So the children of Adam, they're probably going to set off a bomb. And he's looking at the death counts for that. Because children of Adam want to spread the fog. Far Harbor obviously doesn't want that. They want to still live here. And they blame the children, or at least some do, blame the children for spreading of the fog.
Okay. So they found... The children found Dima. Talk to, to take a, oh, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Dima. Hey, Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. Alright. Um... Before I begin, how much do you know? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a... I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. But now Martin is gone, and his successor... Tectus wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit in the old command center. I'll give you the program you... It's not going to be like a normal hack. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded. Yeah, I already have it that program. will guide you through it. <clears throat> I already stole it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Actually, I already have the program. I was, I was thorough. thorough. Okay, well, yep. I guess that just means I... One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, uh -huh. our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If we find anything suspicious in those mem... Okay. Uh, it seems like Nick wants to talk to me. Then I'll go report to Kasumi. Nick, come on. Seems like you want to talk. Hey. I what? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. That's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out, helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. It might be in his uh, memory banks. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it might actually be in those memory banks we're going to look for. So we're going to go talk to Kasumi, and then before we head over to the Children of Adam, I'll probably actually do some side quests here. Discover around the island. And we'll go talk to, uh... Oh, that's not what I... I don't care about sitting down. Get up. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still... Do you have a way in? I got this program that Faraday and Dima... Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up... I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the... Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thought. I'm sorry, I'm making a... I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll... Good luck. Okay. Oh, where you belong. Okay. Well, first off, let me actually level up. I've been holding this off forever. I think I'll just keep going, uh, Scrounger. There's just so many perks that are kind of just, like, not that useful. Even sneaking, it's like... Yeah, let's just go with this scrounger perk. I don't want to spend here forever. Oh, you're a cog. Okay. I hope this is a... Uh settlement but I'm gonna go discover around the island first thing I'm gonna do is uh, go back to old Longfellow's cabin I want to discover some stuff around here do some of these side quests get any settlements I can and then then maybe next part we'll do uh, go meet the children of Adam Okay. So some of my quests, uh I have that. I got all of these to do. Oh, Longfellow's cabin is on the other island. Okay. Well, I'll do some of these. Talk to Brooks. Find that missing synth. I guess I'll swim over to Longfellow's cabin. He's on his own little island. I mean, it's kind of smart. I assume the gulpers and stuff can sw swim. I'll repeat. There are no police in Far Harbor. If you got caps, I got goods. 
Avery. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask, but I've got a responsibility. Uh huh. I'm happy to help. With if you say so. We get our drinking. We had a bad storm not long before. Uh -huh. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. Uh -huh. I was hoping you might go have. If you're up to it, just heads. I wouldn't ask. Sure. You. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. I'll head out there. Good. Our walk. Sure, why not? You need to okay, work. Let's talk to Brooks talk first. The Mariner. I need to talk oh, to you no, about our missing sense. Yeah. Like well, it's this. not something I talk. About. I'm working with Chase. She told me. Okay, I believe you. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Really Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. But, mm -hmm. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. Tried to calm him down, but he pat- uh -huh. Okay, Relax. I can go find him, though. I'll take care. Sorry. Look, if you're really going after that synth, just be careful. I feel like shit about what happened. Yeah, I got it. That's so, Longfellow's Cabin. Best I can offer. You have to help us in the deep fog. Out there. <sighs> Hard times. You think the fog's bad during the day? Night time. I didn't bring any alcohol, but still held Longfellow. Damn. I can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. <laughs> okay. So where is the workshop? There you are. Nice. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I just want to uh, maybe help him out here. Oh, you don't have anything here. This kind of sucks as a, as a place to stay. God, you don't have anything. Well, I'll probably just scrap stuff on my way down to uh, the beach here. This is a pretty sizable settlement. Okay, what's the closest place? The closest one. Way over that way, okay. Damn fog's got in my lungs again. Why are you walking this way, Longfellow? So I'll discover Beaver Creek Lanes on the way by, but I'm going to head that way. Find the missing synth, get him back to uh, Acadia. Are there any enemies around here? I want to fight. There's Beaver Creek Lanes. I don't miss every one of my shots. I say I want to fight, but apparently I'm not ready. So, where are you at? Oh, 
Oh yeah, this thing is freaking powerful. I mean, it, it only does slightly less damage than my sniper, and that is ridiculous. Only problem is I have way more ammo for my sniper. God, Nick, don't scare me like that. Hmm. There's a trail of blood. Just following the trail the whole time? Okay. I don't know if this dude's a synth. The amount he's bleeding here. This might be a real person. Or just a regular human. That's quite a bit of blood. I mean, I I hope he's a synth because he's dead with this amount of blood loss. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. I'm not looking for trouble. Yeah, we found him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now go. Don't come back. Okay. Well. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Okay, that's what you get for this. Anything useful? Why, why would you do that? Y'all are sick. Is any of this armor actually good? No, not really. Okay. What do I do with those gulper gulper innards? Like, is that even a thing I can cook, or am I? Did I just pick those up for no reason? You guys suck. Why'd you have to kill him? Oh, there's one mission done. What's next? Let me uh, take some aid items real quick. Uh, let's start from the bottom. Next closest thing is... That's Acadia, so I'll go... I guess National Park Campground. Over and back in that direction. Valentine admires you. Thank you. I like him, too. He's a good companion. Dude, they, they got the eerie feeling down of, like, a post-apocalyptic coast of Maine down pat. Because this is freaking sick. God, I love the feel of this DLC more than anything I've experienced so far in this game. What's that one? Dude, nothing is at Starlight Drive-In. There's no reason to go to help defend that. There's no settlers at Starlight Drive-In. It always goes... Uh, that's the problem with the Minutemen. You're going to do any DLC and you're going to get a mission. Help defend Starlight Drive-In. Help defend Sanctuary. Well, there's no settlers at Starlight Drive-In. There's nothing to defend. I literally just have some water purifiers there so I can get some water protection so that, like, when I'm between, um, when I'm between parts, I can go sell some and get some caps back and buy better gear and buy junk so I can upgrade stuff. So there's, there's nobody there to defend. Okay, I guess we're going to keep following this road. Oh, no, it's up here. 
yeah, follow the road here. Towards Acadia, but then book a right. <laughs> Can I just climb up the hill? Seems like I'd be able to. I don't know what this is, but I'll discover it. There's definitely some enemy base. Can I please discover this? Okay, I discovered this place, so we can leave. You got this, Nick. I believe in you. And he went back to the pipe rifle. I literally gave him ammo for that automatic pistol. Not a lot, but it's ammo. God, I hate... I hate these... Freaking World War Z zombies sprinting at me. Is that it? One more? Okay. Well, this is... This has to be a settlement, right? Or am I wrong? Oh, this isn't a settlement. Okay. Okay, well, there's that one done. What's next? One even further this way. That's the parts for the repairs. Chief Storage Drive, South he Southwest Harbor. I'll return to Cassie Dalton first. And go turn in this mission to Chase. I guess I'll do the other two in this next part because I'm running out of time here to film today. But that's kind of smart that they've uh, released wolves sometime in the past to get, get more meat on the island. They have to I think eat we gulpers to and stuff like that. Oh, what's up? What's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no. Nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling for a while now. And I figured, especially after all that stuff with Dima, that you deserve to know more about me. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute... They keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side. And that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world. With such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories. Pre-war. Faded to all heck of guys dressed like this. Doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, and I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. You remember when Dima was talking about the Institute's personality experiments? My memories. My personality. 
They're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. But hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's terrible. They really just threw you away? Sure did. It was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. First person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. The local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. And something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Yeah, he's a good companion. Let's go turn in this to Cassie Dalton here. We cleared Those out the place. Those ghouls come at you quick. Poor Petey learned that the hard way. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns try. It's only right you get... Uh-huh. Eh, uh, I'm not gonna ask for more money. I wasn't looking to get paid. You're a good person. Uh -huh. I've been thinking about what's next. Uh -huh. You'd never want something awful to happen. Sure. I'm sorry. Everybody was. But that did he had a farm, little ways the island sent something after him. A he mm -hmm. grandpa bravely mm -hmm. if you can take out that shell bat. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Okay. Where's this at? What's oh, another settlement? Dalton Farm. So the settlements I've seen so far, Dalton Farm and... Cranberry Island Bog. Okay, well for now, I think this is where we're going to end this part. Next time I'll do a... Uh, I'll probably head to the Nucleus with the Children of Adam first. Don't exactly know where that's even at, to be honest. Oh, that's way over here. The Nucleus. Okay. I'll probably start with that. And then uh, once I get most of the way through it, I'll do some more of these side quests. I want to help some people out. Why not? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'll do. Okay. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to leave any feedback down below. I love hearing y'all thoughts. If there's any places I should be, be sure back. to uh, explore. Vault people and uh, suits. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.